All right, now for a second method. And once again, you are going to use your note-taking sheet. Mm -hmm. And this is under part two. Yep. So um, you're still solving multi-digit multiplication problems without decimals, mm -hmm. but um, we're going to show you a new method. And some of you might prefer this one better than the first one. We'll see. Never know. So um, I can solve multi-digit multiplication problems without decimals. And part two is all about rectangle rows. And once again, we'll do one with you. Just follow along on your note-taking sheet and see exactly how to do it. Uh, and you're going to notice in your notes, like I'm noticing here, there are some things that are in your notes that are not <laughs> on the slideshow. So pay attention to the step-by-steps that might help you when you go back to try and solve some of them on your own. We tried to put it in words as well for this, so mm -hmm. just to keep that in mind. Yeah. So um, you'll notice that we have rectangles again, but now it's only broken up into two smaller ones rather than four, as right. in before. And the reason why is because you are going to keep one of the numbers together. You're not mm -hmm. going to expand it. So this is just 67 now. And then the second number, we are still going to expand. So you are going to have your 40 here, and then you're going to have your 3 here. Now, um, what you need to do next is just apply that area rule again. Length times width, or in this case, 67 times 40, we're going to write down in the bigger box. And now you're going to still apply what you remember from multiplying uh, numbers that end in 0. You can just sort of disregard it for now and focus on the numbers. Mm -hmm. And here you can think about how you have um, 4 in the tens place um, times 7 to begin with. And that should be 28. So that's why we have our 2 up here. We have to carry that eventually. And our 8 is down here. And it's underneath the 4. So you still are thinking about how you're really multiplying by 40 here. Yeah. Um, then you can go on and do 4 times 6 equals 24, and then you're adding your little 2 up here. So you should get 200, well, 26 there. And right. then you just tack on your 0. So because there's one zero in the multiplication problem. Yep, yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Um, then you just have to apply um, multiplying again, 67 times 3. So in this case, um, in the ones place, so you're good, 3 times 7 is 21 and then 3 times 6 is 18 you're going to add on your little 2 here so you end up with 201 total now one thing that's really nice about rectangle rows is you only have two numbers to add now yep. so that's going to be off to the side here and when you add those two numbers up you're going to get 2881 there so that's all about rectangle rows. Yep. So now we are going to do one where you are going to have to pause it and then try it. Mm -hmm. And again, if you need to look back at the steps um, or rewatch the video, please do. Um, we've got this one in your note-taking sheet. So if you want to, or, or not if you want to, <laughs> not if you want to, you have to do it anyways. Um, but go ahead and try and solve it and then come back and we will go through the answers and we can see if you got it right, got it wrong, or... How'd it go? So the first step is to plop our bigger number up on the top. So 91 is on the top, and then our other number, 47, we're going to expand into 40 plus 7. So now we just need to go through, again, like we did before, to find the area of each of these little rectangles. So this one is 91 times 40, and like Mrs. Van Dam said, we're just going to ignore zero right now. We're knowing we're multiplying it by the tens, so our answer is going to go down here in the tens place, but we're going to just sort of ignore zero till the end. So 4 times 1 is 4, and then I multiply it by my tens place, and 4 times 9 is 36. So um, since now I'm done with that multiplication, I can put my 1, 0 from my question into my answer. So 91 times 40 is 3,640. Mm -hmm. And then the next step is multiplying again. And we, didn't, we sort of skipped a step where you have to re rewrite it down here, but... We're assuming that you know that. It's just one of the characteristics of a rectangle. It's that mm -hmm. the opposite sides are equal. So you know this is 91, so it would be 91 times 7. And again, we'll start with the 1. 7 times 1 is 7. And then we go over to the 10. 7 times 9 is 63. And now that I found the area of my two rectangles, I will add them together. 
and we should end up with 4,277. So hopefully you got that as well. Mm -hmm. And now that you've learned both ways, sort of be thinking in your head, which of those ways made the most sense? Which was easiest for you? Which one did you get right more often? Um, be keeping that in your head because, again, when we get done, you'll be able to choose whichever of the three methods you prefer. Mm -hmm. So our last step, again, we don't want you to feel neglected, mm -hmm. so you get to try these two on your own. So, again, they're in your notebook, or in your notebook, in your notes. Mm -hmm. So uh, please answer those in there and be ready when you come in to go over them tomorrow. And we will see you then. Good luck.